gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the house, okay? The house of Dev Chanel Sporty Ace World, okay? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope today was very pleasant for you all and uh, healing in some ways. Or, hell, if you were just out there making your money just to make ends meet, then I ain't got no problem with you either because I was out there doing the salt. The same thing that you were doing, okay? We were doing it at the same damn time. All right, then. It's a family affair. We're getting down. We're going to be talking about, we can talk about work. We can talk about people's on the job. Or we can just go and talk about mindless drama, okay? We don't want to talk about no family members because they always getting on our nerves seven days a week, okay? Let's go and talk about Candy Burris over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. From what I understand, and I'm getting from my source, which is mobile, yourweb.com, they brought a story out that Riley Burris want to break camp. She can't stand Todd Tucker, her, uh, Todd Tucker, her stepfather anymore. She cannot do it. I don't know where Block is. I thought Block was going to be in her life, but it don't seem like we're hearing anything on the social media realm, or maybe he's doing it very secluded where we don't know stuff, and that's that's good. Keep things out of out of media. We don't have less to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Keep it all on the uh, front street of family. Family's bond, bond is family, and shit don't get out if you don't tell it, okay? But it just is what it is. Got this story to talk, talk over there, trying to uh, make waves, trying to... Made like he's the big person in the house. Uh, he's trying to run things over there in the house. And Riley told me, I ain't liking that. I'm like, Riley, are you trying to emancipate yourself from your parents? <laughs> Girl, are you trying to emancipate yourself from your parents? Girl, I don't know what's going on. Because I'm like, that mansion that y'all living in, it ain't nothing but you, Ace, Todd, and Ken, and Todd, and Ken share one bedroom. So you got your own big bedroom around there. And then get Ace got his. I'm like, I, I, I don't understand. And Kayla's just a visitor whenever she feel like she want to come. And it don't seem like she want to come too much over there to see y'all. Okay? She trying to be in New York or L.A. or somewhere. And I'm still not understanding what she's trying to do. If she's trying to be in fashion and the modeling agency, then why Cynthia can't help her? Hell, she got the Bailey agency down here. Your mom is rubbing heads with people that can do something for her career. But yet she's going away from people that... They can help her. I'm not understanding that. And then if she wants to be in the entertainment field in some form of television or whatever, she has candy here. So why isn't she using her resources? Why everything has to be in L.A.? Don't they know that Atlanta is the new L.A. and New York? That's what they're trying to make it as because they show moon. They behind here clogging up all the streets and the byways and the highways up in here. Okay. Seem like it's been going bad since 2011. Everybody want to congregate. Everybody wants to come live in Atlanta, Georgia, where the dreams are being met and stars are being born. I don't know, okay? I'm just out here trying to make a living, all right? But anyway, that's what I'm trying to talk to you all about. Maybe y'all can help me understand. Give me some edification here. How is Riley? She's 16 years old. She may be a grade ahead or whatnot. I think she's supposed to be finishing high school this year or something to that effect. Or maybe it's next year. Um, twenty Well, I guess it's 2021 maybe, not 2020. But if it's 2020, then she may be ahead of her class. You know, got skilled maybe a, a, a year or maybe two. Because so she was doing an internship up in New York at some attorney's office. And I'm like, I thought they only gave those uh, type of prestigious appointments to people that's in their junior year of high school, but she was doing it at a sophomore age. I, I don't know. I don't know. I probably might be a little brainchild running around them. But I'm like, okay, I'm not staying here. Then Candy got that other part to her house that seems like it's a guest house or something she was going to put Miss Sharon in before she passed away. Um, that thing here, yeah, Mama Joyce could be over there too. Mama Joyce probably like the party, want to have her own thing. She want the kids knowing what she really be doing. You know what I'm saying? That's how we uh, OGs are. We we don't want y'all to see what we do because we we get dashed sometimes too. But we ain't for our kids to be seen. Just like we don't want to see your stuff out there either. We don't want to make or uh, even have the image that our children are doing the same thing we do. It, it it just don't look right mentally or physically. It just, it just don't get right in our brain. Okay, so I can see why uh, Mama Joyce don't want to stay nowhere near them. But anyway, um, yeah, so I understand. I'm like, Riley, you know, I'm just looking at it from my own perspective. I know Riley might be, you know, a little upset and, and she, you know, 
Todd taking over more territory than she felt like she wanted to give of her mother and the time that they're not spending or whatnot. That's why Riley uh, eloquently expressed her opinions about Ken trying to add on to this family unit. She's like, you barely here for me. You sure ain't here for Ace. So what are you talking about bringing a third child in this scenario for? I don't understand. And, and Kayla ain't never here for you to even try to throw some mother in too. But she got her own mother, in, you know, anyway. I got Mama Joyce. I got Aunt Nora and Bertha. And anybody else that want to come around and give me love. But sometimes I need my mama's love. I mean, I understand. I totally understand what Riley talking about or how she feels. But trying to say she's trying to get her own apartment, that's going to lead into other negative activities. You see what I'm saying? Because Candy can't watch everything. And she can't employ people to go be creeping up on her daughter, you know, coming out them bushes or, you know, the skyscrapers or got a telescope on and trying to make sure she's doing the right thing. You know, everything coach ain't nobody trying to take advantage of her and stuff of that nature. So, you know, you still kind of need them hands-on type of uh, white glove treatment when you got these teenage kids out here because they, they be thinking they want life but when life come for them they be done got ate up you know what i'm saying then you have to come back and do damage control and all this stuff so now riley it's not wise for you to sit up there and either emancipate yourself from your parents or to say i need my own apartment because you're going too fast baby you're going too fast you're going to end up hating yourself and probably hate your mom for a little bit if you go towards that avenue, honey. I'm saying just go and live with Aunt Bertha or Aunt Nora or um I don't forgot the other um shoot, it was three of them on it. Let me say Aunt Nora, Aunt Bertha, and, and it's Mama Joyce. Huh? You probably won't want to live with Mama Joyce because she probably got some real, real starring rules, you know. But she might take it easy because you the grandbaby. She always loved you. You the first one anyway. So yeah. She, but, yeah, you probably still don't want to fool with uh, Mama Joyce. So, I don't know. You might need to go stay with Aunt Bertha or Aunt Nora or something or some cousins or something. And you just get you little, your little uh, stipend your mama give you and just come on out of that house. Cause I know it can be a little, you know, uh, daunting that you're seeing a lot and hearing a lot that your mama may not be privy to. And then if you go tell her, you know she's going to run back and tell Todd. Because that's just what we do as women. We got to make sure everybody is accounted for and everything is kosher. We don't want nobody talking behind our back. We don't want to hear nothing. We don't want nobody talking outside of their neck, especially if they're getting taken care of financially and emotionally. You know what I'm saying? We want everybody to be happy. It don't seem like everybody happy up in that camp over there. Candy girl. But anyway, and another thing I'm going to say, Candy, just, you know, speaking as woman to woman. Yes, giving you some advice because I'm older than you. You don't want to get into the situation where you don't believe your children. And I'm not saying Riley maybe wanted me falsifying some stuff or whatnot. But you got to make sure she's telling the truth before you dot your eyes and cross your T's and try to get rid of Todd, okay? Make sure everything's cool and kosher there, okay? So it won't be no regrets or any of that nature because Todd showing his ass here and there anyway, <laughs> okay? Any way that you can catch up in them streets and probably catch them yourself. Just hire you a private investigator for a couple of months and see what you pull up on bro man, okay? Just keep that because I'm sure you got your prenup tight, tight like a singing tap out drum, okay? You know, tune it up and everything. You know that kind of thing? Yes. But, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know he tried to run to that Randy Kessler uh, the time y'all were trying to get married to overlook the prenup like he had some money and stuff. Oh, Todd, 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 when will you learn, baby boy? When will you learn? Kids will always beat that stepdad in, a, in, a, in any heyday of the time, okay? But anyway, uh, a mother's love is nothing like uh, a, a, a husband and wife love. You, I can't tell you unless you sat and had a child then you understand what i'm talking about and like i said don't seem like riley no liar she's not no you know a uh, bad child that you just want to ruin something for the parent or whatever she don't seem she don't strike me as that so can i'm like you know pay attention to what your daughter's trying to tell you okay i know you're in love and I, I know you don't took your vows very seriously and this that, and third but Todd seems to have a little control issue because he can't even get straight about his other daughter over there, okay, Kayla, you know, of course, she has another biological mom that's in her life, and uh, she, I'm sure she's well aware, well abreast of what her daughter's doing, and just as long as I guess Todd, the, them checks clear, she could kind of let him have anything or do anything with the child, because, you know, we see how she faltered, uh, maybe she got him straight, and it was just off camera, and no, nobody, uh, um, 
coming out saying, no, the mama of Kayla really sh uh, got on Todd's ass this, that, and third. You know, maybe she keeping her shit out of social media. And, you know, I'm kudos for her. She ain't got to come in the spotlight. I want you in that spotlight. They, they travel with you. They try to keep tabs on you. Might have paparazzi on you behind. But anyway, uh, yeah, Todd made that very bad error when he called himself taking his daughter to a strip club and everything was okay. You know, shaking asses and everything on her and on him. No, because if anybody needs to shake some asses, if Mama Sharon was still here, he, she could have got taken to Chippendales and let some man pump their buns on her instead of female. Unless, you know, you're trying to tell us something about your daughter. She lesbian now or something? I don't know, Todd. Tell us. Tell her what's going on. Tell her what's going on, honey. So we'll know what's going on. We can just uh, be able to make a, a clear, conscious viewpoint on how we want to talk. But, you know, we ain't got nothing to talk talk too much about the kids because they're experimenting they're testing their waters they're seeing what they like what they don't like and they have that time that error to uh figure it all out but when you know you get in your late 20s early 30s mid 30s okay you need to be figuring out what your sexuality is and how you get down okay so ain't no sense running them up going from here to there because then you be looking like a thought okay but anyway uh yeah so the whole drama about this video before when I yeah before we get into the commentary it was just stressed out about that uh poor Riley over there just going crazy because Todd is just getting on her nerves and I guess she's not finding any love or any foundation with Todd so she could be rebelling Todd could be doing something that she's not liking and what she's not he what she's hearing she's probably confronting him and he's not really taking her serious. Like, you know, your mama gonna believe me over you anyway. Okay? He might be doing some foul stuff like that as well. So, I don't know, Ken. I don't think I'm saying to you, uh, do we need regulator to come in? Do we need Mama Joyce to come in and regulate and try to ascertain what's really going on? Because you know, she don't want nobody messing with her baby, Riley. Okay? Riley was the first grandchild. I mean, I, mean, I know Ace is out there. I know he is. But there ain't nothing like them grandparents get their first grandchild and that's their love of their life. Or they, they, they love the other ones, but it's just their first grandchild. Child, please. So we don't want to have Mama Joyce out of social media clowning on talk. We, she, she already done told us before he got married. Before y'all got married. Ain't no mountain wide enough. I mean, ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no wide, river wide enough. Ain't no ocean something. I don't know how Mama Joyce had it, but you know it was that... Uh, that song, I think, from Diana Ross, okay? Ain't no mountain high enough. Yes, nothing can keep me. Keep it from her getting on Todd's ass. She already said it. It was stamped, it was stamped in my forehead. Because every time I hear that song, I think about Mama Joyce, okay? When I need to be thinking about Diana Ross, but just as high it is, okay? But let's get on into this article. Yes. Full blown up article. Talking about um candy birds. And, and Todd and oh baby girl Riley, she's just not happy over there. She's not happy over there in her, her castle, all right. And she's the princess. She's supposed to be happy. But anyway, they give us a title that says Candy Burr's teen daughter refuses to live in same household as stepfather Todd Tucker. Go figure, go figure. I was trying to look who brought out the article. What journalist? But we just gonna say a staff reporter for Euroweb.com. Okay. Uh, they go on to say, is there trouble brewing inside of Candy Burris' family home? I don't know, but let's keep on reading. We might find out some news, okay? According to the exclusive Radar Online reported, Candy's 16-year-old daughter, Riley, wants to move out because she refuses to live with stepfather Todd Tucker, okay? That ain't Fry Tucker, that's Todd Tucker. Okay, Candy's husband, y'all know who he is. <clears throat> okay, it says Riley wants out of the house and wants Candy to buy her an apartment. A family insider told Radar, Riley can't stand looking at him and doesn't want to be in the same house any longer. Okay, she thinks Todd's controlling, manipulative, and she's tired of him acting like he's her father. The source says, Candy's freaking out and don't know what to do. Well, I know one thing, she shouldn't have been trying to have another baby. But if that ain't my business, that ain't my... uh." my my um food to tend to okay if she wants to come on and continue to make babies with this man i think it's just one more she has one more egg has already been fertilized and they're pretty much waiting for it to be born i don't know if it's going to be this year or the top of next year uh but i'm sure we'll find out 
But the source says Burst is trying to keep peace over there in the kingdom, the kingdom over there, the palace, all right? It says Candace in an awkward position because she loves her daughter more than life and loves her husband, the source explains. She's considering getting rid of the apartment because she's always wants her to be happy and thinks that as she gets older, she should have her own space. Well, Candace, sidebar here, sidebar, babe. Riley's 16 years old, okay? 16 brings a lot of emotions, a lot of temper tantrums, a lot of uneasiness, okay? Because they're trying to find themselves out and they got a lot of emotions running with them. Then she might be into the situation where she's liking boys too, okay? We don't want an opportunity for her to really experience life until it's time for her to really experience life. So I think you should take that apartment idea, take it off the board. She ain't in her freshman year of college or anything of that nature. She gets that time when that time is due her. Okay, so take that off the board from one woman to another woman. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, if you need to go to counseling, uh, family counseling or how, you know, y'all... Uh, share the blended family idea and how everybody can coexist together, all that kumbaya stuff, maybe you need to seek out that avenue and not put it on TV, okay? Just do it on the low, low, the private, you know what I'm saying? All eyes, all eyes off of y'all type of uh, consultation y'all would need, okay? Moving back to the article, it says... Um, and then just another sidebar, because, you know, I don't know why Candy is trying, to, and like I said, a mansion over there, the castle over there is pretty big. I don't know why she's trying to get rid of or insinuate that they might need to use Kayla's bedroom unless it's kind of close to them, uh, meaning Todd and Candy's bedroom that she would probably need it to keep an eye on the baby of some sort. I mean, I, I, this is just my thinking. I, I'm not really sure why would we need to pretty much get rid of a room. Let it just stay where it is because she got to come home for the holidays, right? And what better space for her to congregate in is her own bedroom the child had initially set out for her. I mean, do you want to start other uh issues for the negative candy and Todd I think not but you know okay not living there I'm just giving y'all my piece of advice if I must okay but anyway going back to the article it says Burrs 42 and Tucker 45 are parents to two-year-old son Ace and are planning to have another child via surrogate and Riley is said to be feeling the same way or some kind of way about having a sibling and we already know she already feel her mom ain't taking time out with her don't have the time don't really too much have time for baby A. She kind of kind of got herself, like she helping raise him as well. You know, taking out her time. She need to be finding out herself. But she okay. She always wanted a sibling anyway. She had baby Ace. So that was enough, she said. Now you try to bring in another one. Right? I said, hold up. Flag on play. Okay. There's a foul, a foul being played here. Some foul accusations. I don't like it. I, I, you didn't question me. You didn't ask me. Or maybe you did ask me. You just didn't like what I had gave you an example of an answer. But it is what it is. Okay. But I'm not. I already said baby Ace was mine. Okay. But this other child that's coming in here. I, I can't take responsibility of it. I, I just can't. I got life. I got life to live. Okay. Maybe baby Ace going to have to pick up on that one. Or maybe Kayla going to have to come and show, uh, show some of her uh, bro, big sister skills, cause I, I'm tapped out with Ace. That's probably what she was telling uh Candy, but Candy wasn't listening. Okay, but anyway, um, Riley's throwing temper tantrums now that Candy's trying to have another baby with Todd. The source is playing. She doesn't want another sibling. She likes being the center of Candy's world and feels like Todd and his insistence on a bigger family is pulling Candy away. The insider added, Riley always thought Todd was an opportunist and doesn't like him. To this day, the sources claim Riley hears him on the phone talking to his friends and like he's the biggest celebrity in, in Atlanta and it drives her insane. And I'm like, Riley, on the real low low, just between me and you girl, just, you know, as quiet as a kill. Todd ain't, ain't the biggest uh, kahuna out here, honey. He just uh, playing himself up. And if his friends are truly his friends, they know Todd ain't talking about a bunch of shit. That's all candy celebrity. Uh, ship running out there in Atlanta. Okay, he's cruising and smoozing with people 
she knows and trying to make himself established because, you know, he was like a little film production guy. And Phaedra had to hook them up because he was too scared or too shy to even talk to Candy, okay? So we know how that got, you know, set up or whatnot. So, nah, don't don't, don't pay attention to what the, the people are saying or what he's saying coming out of his mouth. He ain't no big kahuna out here, honey. He floating with her because every time you see him, he running after her, running after her skirt tail, okay? Can't live without her, can't be without her because he know. That's where the fun is. That's where the money being made. He got to know what all money is coming in in case he want to cash out on your mama. And then he'll know what the real T is. But I know Candy's smarter than that. She's smarter. She's smarter, honey. She let him see what she want him to see. But uh, it's money being passed. It's, it's money being fondled to where he don't uh, fond where he don't know nothing about it. Because see, Mama Joyce taught her well. Mama Joyce said, don't let the right hand know what the left hand doing, baby. Don't let the right hand know what the left hand doing. Okay. Mama Joyce ain't raising no fool. She ain't raising no fool. And if she even think can't act a fool like that, Mama Joyce coming out there to regulate. <laughs> Mama Joyce is coming to regulate. So my advice to you, can I mean, uh, well, yeah, Candy, uh, Riley, pray about it. Put everything in prayer before you start wanting to put hands on folks and making these big, big decisions. And Riley, sometimes you have to go in your own prayer, your own prayer closet. Go on in your closet in black and, you, you know, meditate and talk to the Lord. If you're spiritual like that, if you're not spiritual like that, I don't know what to tell you, baby. I'm to find Jesus. Find the Lord, okay? Go talk to Mama Joyce. I'm sure she can handle things. She go, she's the regulator over there, okay? Or go tell Aunt Bertha or Aunt Nora. They'll get it to Mama Joyce if you don't want to go up there and tell on your mama. You know what I'm saying? Because your mama come back and be salty and stuff against you. But it just is yeah, what it is. Baby Riley, just keep your head up, girl. We all going to put you in prayer over here at the Family Foundation Nails for this world. And we're going to know you you're going to be successful. Yes, you are. You're going to let your mama just handle her own business with Todd. And you're just going to be smoozing along. You and baby Ace and do your own thing, honey. But don't leave your mama house, girl. You ain't, mm -mm. Don't move. Don't, don't be listening to folks out there. Do not be listening to other folks out there because they ain't looking out for your best interest. Listen to your mama. Listen to your family. Listen to Mama Joyce, honey. And you'll always be secure. But most of all, listen to the Lord. Hopefully you're proud. Prayerful person, prayerful little girl. I'm sure they taught you right, but you know, just in case they didn't, get into prayer, honey. Get in prayer. And, and, and the Lord will take care of everything. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this little turn of events. I thought everything was happy over there in the in the castle, over there at the Burroughs Tucker residence. But it don't seem like it. Everything that seemed like it's cool and collected and calm, just having chaos over there. That's why I said people shouldn't be throwing stones, acting on glass houses. Take the plank out your own eye before you're sitting up there be trying to spark somebody else. But Ken always been a pretty good person. She ain't never really tried to throw salt on people or act disgruntled toward anybody unless they came for her. So hopefully, you know, they can get the situation straight. Now, Riley can live and, and won't have no bad memories about her childhood growing up or what she had to go through. You know, because that only messes a person up. If they don't get it settled when they're in their childhood times, it just go infested with them as they go on through life, honey. And we ain't got time for Riley to be doing that. She got too many good things to be doing out there for the community and for herself. But you all, y'all tell me what y'all thought about this video, the subject matter, of course. Not how I presented it to you, but the, just the subject meat of the potatoes. What you think? You speak your mind. Give me another perspective to think about it if it alters in some way where we're not kindred spirits and you're on my side about this situation or y'all or you agree in totality with what I said. All right. But uh that's all I have for this video. Uh you all be blessed and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.